Okay, today's video we're going to talk about should I run my ad campaigns on nights and weekends on Google? Or also Bing, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, wherever you're running your ads, this all will apply to you depending on where you're running the ads or if you eventually venture to another spot because you're making money on the first spot you would keep going like I advocate on my videos, deciding whether or not you should run nights and weekends. What work, what you do basically on one applies to all the others. And so there's definitely some pros and cons and there's some people which shouldn't do this and there's some people that should ultimately run their ads on nights and weekends because it's gonna be massively profitable to you. How to extract the most money out of nights and weekends if you do go ahead and do it. And enough information to decide which where that general spectrum you should lie. So <clears throat> I'll give you the basic game plan that I use you know, looking at a totally new business that I'm setting up ads for, whether I should run on nights and weekends. Sometimes it'll change at some point, but respectively, you know, the business as it runs doesn't change. So therefore my strategy doesn't change. So anyway, I'll go through the pros and cons and best practices for all this and an easy way to make two to three times the amount of money with your ads on nights and weekends that other people are gonna make if you are actually ambitious enough to be able to wanna to do this for yourself and take advantage of my information I'm gonna give you here. So let's get into it. For this, the biggest, for this, for this question's, uh, question, whether I should advertise and do PPC on nights and weekends or during the week only, the biggest difference is if you happen to be in either B2B or B2C, selling to businesses or selling to the end consumer, which one of those basic categories you fall into, as totally different potential outcomes exist for nights and weekends based upon which of those main two categories you're in. So I always look at this first. Uh, respectively, for high price selling items, um, at least high end, in the market you're in, okay? So if I'm a premium, middle to premium priced offer in my space and I'm selling to other businesses, lead quality can go down a crap ton advertising on nights and weekends. So I just wanted to tell you that if you guys fall into that category, right up front, basically speaking, you probably don't even wanna do nights and weekends, however, or at the very least, what I recommend you do is start with during the week, because that's the tried and true. Let the, you know, other people take the nights and weekends, which are kind of, the, the stu we'll just say the dumb money. Eventually, when you're making plenty of money to where you could actually have some time to test nights and weekends and runway, if you will, uh, you'll need some more runway to, to do that because it's very, finicky to get that to work for you if you're in that exact type of business and situation and type of the section of the market you could get a, what's little there still left for you in nights and weekends the reason for this is if it, you don't know it already is pretty um obvious here or or very, the reason why i could tell you this with such certainty is if somebody is going to buy from your business respectively businesses that buy from other businesses whether you're talking about manufacturing solutions, marketing services, sales training, whatever. If I'm a, the bigger the company I are, am, the more likely it is that I'm going to only be dealing business during the week, not on the weekends. Why? Because we all get lazy the bigger the business gets. As a new business owner, I'm working my uh, butt off seven days a week. And so if I need something, especially because I'm so busy, I'm going to respond during the weekend probably for stuff that is non-critical to my business and something that I want to do to click automate or improve it, let's say, because during the week I'm busy with operations. Whereas you get to a certain size, you have an employee doing stuff like that. That employee is not going to be working on weekends for you. They don't give a crap, whatever. But maybe you have some all-star people that you found, but... So at the very least, we're t we always have to discriminate when we're talking about PPC. So it's all about what's statistically likely to work and then evaluating the value of that section of what we're, the market. And if the, most people that we want 
given that we sell something more expensive, therefore a bigger company is the only one that can afford it, is more likely, way more likely to, be, to search Monday through Friday during regular business hours. Therefore, we don't even want nights and weekends at all. Is there gonna be a, a random person like that CEO of a $30 million a year company who is a maniac and wants to start searching for sales trading solutions on a Sunday night? Yes, they're there, but it's like 10% of the respective market. And like I said, don't ever give up on anything. It's about evaluating what the value is of certain traffic sources, assigning a unique price that you're willing to pay for that traffic, and then gobble up what's there that you can get at the price that it's worth it to you because you've analyzed the value of it. You can track it, all of your PPC. If I 100% guarantee I could, if you come to me with your business, I could find a way to track all the way to a sale and ROI from what you're doing. Whether they call and have to order first, doesn't matter. You can watch some of my other videos about offline conversion tracking, this is the case. You start to analyze where your sales are coming from and when they initially originate. Most of the people, <clears throat> it'll come during the week. Now that all said, I still, like I said, want to do weekends, why? Because a lot of people, even if I am an employee, sometimes I'm trying to get caught up or the wild CEO, uh, as I mentioned, they'll do research at night, but they won't respond till Monday because they figure most other companies aren't open then. There's some lost opportunity then. But the value of a click that occurs on a weekend or in the middle of the night versus in the middle of the day where they can respond right away and not potentially forget or get distracted is definitely worth way more. So, just getting started to where we're trying to get to profitability as quick as possible. I'm not going to mess around with nights and weekends, at least at first. Eventually, you can come back, take what you can get there. You want to absorb that because if you're in your market, PPC is working. You want to tap into that too. So anyway, you pretty much get what you're supposed to do there. Moving forward, for everything else, i.e. B2C, if you will, selling the end consumers here, not businesses, there's a huge opportunity out there to 2 to 3x the amount of profit that your ads are making right now advertising during nights and weekends or if you advertise during nights and weekends to two, two to three X the amount of money that you're making from nights and weekends already right now. And I'll explain how. For anyone starting out for sure, like you're new in business especially, and you're trying to, you have more time than money, all of you guys, and I'm gonna be very pretentious when I say this, you want to, when you're starting out, you're going against Goliath in your market. You have to work your ass off if you're going to survive. One of which is you're going to be able to be do it, willing to do more than other people who are now fat and happy are willing to do. One of which is you do business on nights and weekends. Why? Because they don't, they the there's people that want to do business with you on nights and weekends. And if you're going to, where they'll ignore it, at least to do to where you, they want to speak to somebody physically on nights and weekends, you're gonna be the one that gets it, you're gonna get two to three times the money effectively for the same exact amount of money you can invest in ads. For, for, so if you're starting out in business, you're 24 seven. Specifically, if you're e-commerce, you're probably already doing it, but what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be doing phone or live chat customer service 24 seven as well. Obviously, in some I, the people that I've seen that were by far the most successful willing to do this when their site was starting out because you don't have data. You're a huge disadvantage against all the people who have data on their campaigns and years to refine their campaigns. You needed some sort of advantage where you can get it. But if you're in like e-commerce, doing especially for like a business like real estate, um, what you're going to do to take advantage and get two to three times amount of profit you normally work, would work advertising nights and weekends you're going to take the ad and the landing page both and you're actually going to say and i've had talked about this this is, there's some other variants you do this on the holidays you get similar numbers you're going to say live chat agent available right now all night long or 365 live chat available online now and you tell them mm, you don't want the person to have any inkling that maybe they're just joking around. No, there's somebody to talk to now. And if I want to talk to somebody now, I'm clicking the, that ad. And in a lot of markets like real estate, I'm going to just go to who I can talk to likely now. And even if I don't have to talk to someone now, I'm more apt to talk to, or click on the ad that where they say that they can to talk to somebody now in case I have questions. 
that you'll have that major advantage on everybody else. In addition to with that advantage, you have other advantages which stack up to a huge major overall advantage from what money you can invest in the PPC. But so the ad says that, and then when they get to the landing page bef before they scroll, which is called above the fold, you're also going to reinforce the same thing. Live live chat operator available right now to answer your questions. Click here to chat, or I'm available right now all night long, give me a call, here's the number. Be very explicit about it. Respectively, this would not make sense to run all the time like this because during the day, that's gonna look really, what's, you could call it desperate and that certainly could be the case, but it, all that extra information is it's not nighttime is gonna get in the way and anything that gets in the way adds extra friction and it hurts your conversion rate any other time. So realistically, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to have a night system or sales funnel and a day funnel in order to take advantage of the two to three X increase in profit during nights and weekends. And I'll explain how to do that in a moment. But that's how you do that. And basically, so your cost per click is gonna be half to a third of what it normally was nights and weekends once you've done that because the click through rate's gonna be sky high, like twice this click through rate when you have that on your, your ad. Your landing page is gonna have basically twice the conversion rate because the person knew what they were gonna get with the ad and, and now they know you're a differentiator, which is clear, you know, a way to communicate instantly at night. They get to your page and they're gonna respond at a much greater rate. The combination of the higher click-through rate and the higher response rate on the landing page or conversion rate, if you wanna call it that, gives you much higher quality scores. But if you combine that with the fact that nights and weekends are inherently Cheaper traffic, why? Because less people are willing to, you know, they're saying, I can't, they just make a gut, a, a gut feeling judgment call and they say, I can't answer the phone during the weekend, so therefore I'm just not gonna advertise on the weekends for like a real estate business. So that you're gonna take advantage of those extra clicks nobody wants, even though they don't know if it, they can make money or not, because most people, 90% of people aren't very methodical with their PPC campaigns, they're just not. I don't care how much money they have, I've seen hundreds of campaigns. So you could take advantage of this. And so you get much higher quality scores, which the rates are already lower per click because that's inventory, ad inventory that nobody would say only half the people in your market want to start with. And now you're gonna get an even, you're gonna be the number one most click through and response, responseful you know, landing page in addition with all that. So you have an even lower cost per click. You have rock bottom cost per click from that and a high response rate which gets you a tripling of two to three acts of profitability, even with what the nights and weekends are gonna provide you. Um, normally, people, inherently, the nights and weekends, it's not that people are just randomly guessing that they don't want nights and weekends if they get answered on the phone. Partially, some of it is people, they logically think, well, we're not open and most people are open, so I'm not gonna bid on during the nighttime or weekends because that person probably already knows they can't respond. So if they're just gonna be basically doing research, they can't respond right then, therefore it makes sense that it wouldn't convert as well. So therefore I'll just stay away from it because I'm already spending my budget anyway that I had allocated for the month, the monthly budget I had, therefore I won't do it. And that's actually true, right? The fact that you are now getting in there and you're the one person who can respond right away, you've eliminated the whole hindrance of why nobody bids on this. Therefore, the, you have a much cheaper cost per clicks. Nobody wants the traffic. And the one thing, reason why they couldn't monetize the traffic to make and be willing to pay more, you eliminated. And now you've, everybody's going to you. So the little traffic you could have got on the weekend, now you have two to three times as much traffic you could get from the place in which now has a two to three times higher ROI potential. So you get how you're stacking gains on top of gains on top of gains here. Respectively, people know, going here, this works for you to get the higher numbers because like I said, people know if they do click to my site, the likelihood that they're gonna read what they see and then they're gonna to remember to call Monday morning at 9 a.m. or whatever is a lot lower than if they click and they're able to respond right away. So they just stay away from it, which drives down. It's a, inherently Google ads and other PPC, uh, you know, wherever you're buying ads online is an auction system. If less people want that 
ads during those times, it's you're gonna pay, they charge less to get people still to be willing to pay for the traffic. And now you've just made, you've turned a uh, lead into gold, if you will, I just wanna say that. So you have much higher quality scores if you actually go ahead and execute on this. You want to, if, if you will go ahead and make your ad landing page, mention something about nights and weekends being a time in which you work, which shows your dedication to your, 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 your customer service, by the way, which gives you an even greater emphasis on whether or not somebody does business with you. The cost per click is cheaper here, okay? So respectively, on, for and just as a side note, e-commerce businesses, by the way, if you didn't know already, the weekends are usually much more profitable. If you're talking about not business to business, but to business to consumer sales, much more profitable because people with their home are more have more time to whip out their credit card and buy, whereas at their work would say they're browsing more so statistically. So I'll automatically usually end up spending 50% more per click on like a Sunday, which is their top day. Take advantage of, because I want as, most tra as much, I'll get more traffic from the same keywords that way by being able to bid more and outbid other people. Respectively, so I'll automatically bid more. Every business is a little different. So as time goes on, it might be that I end up seeing more value than, from the Sunday than what I thought, I'll bid 75 plus for it Saturday and Sunday or what have you, or maybe it's 35 plus after I get the real data coming in, which is something you need to be doing if you want to be able to beat established players, players in your space. They're not gonna do the analysis of what Sunday's worth versus Monday, but all that data is there. You're half the value of what you're getting for when you pay for PPC ads, with Google especially, is they give you all this data, free data, it tells you exactly what works and what doesn't work and what this is worth versus what this is worth. And if you just take advantage of the data, you're automatically number one top PPC strategy in your space. And I know, again, because I've seen enough accounts, I know what people are willing to do as a whole. People aren't willing to usually do this. So I can step in knowing what I'm the one, when I do it, I've seen enough accounts where people, this is 99% of people aren't gonna use all their data and automatically will get above average returns from that and that's all you have to do the ads are priced at market what the market can bear overall as it finds its you know um float of normal up there if you will and now you're being more efficient you should be able to for sure make money and have enough money to pay for the ads and your overhead and all that when you do that that's what you're trying to do anyway inherently this nights and weekend strategy is just an easy way for you to make extra money and so Maybe you're too busy to do this. The one person that does it, it's basically guaranteed extra income, okay? For many, you can use this nights and weekends strategy as your sole strategy you use. So in other words, if let's say you're advertising and you're not, you need an eight to one return, $8 of sales revenue to every $1 of ad spend, you're getting a four to one return right now. And you, you're fighting it, you're frustrated, you don't know what else to do, you don't have a lot of time to optimize that, the ads. You can't afford someone to pay to help you at the moment, let's say, you're, or you don't believe that it's possible to get the return. Switch to using this strategy and only advertise on nights and weekends. Screw Monday through Friday. Just go after what people aren't willing to monetize the right way. Monetize it the right way. And now instead of a four to one return, you, now you have a, a, a 10 to one return. Yes, you're not gonna have quite the volume, but who cares? You can at least use that position in which you're now making money. Everything is a downhill slide once you've initially got profitability for what you're doing, because you could invest 10 to 20%, which you should always be doing, to new traffic sources. It'll take you three to six months to really get a feel of what how that traffic source should be set up, because 80% of that new traffic source won't work to your standards, and you've got to weed out the 80%, and you know where the 80% is once you've you've got your tracking set up and you've just advertised and then the ad network shows you exactly where to peel off the non-working part or at least bid less, which more so you're bidding less and you're taking that extra budget and you're putting on the stuff that's more than average working for you and you get the return from that and then you do the next thing. You can do that. That could be one way that you use this information I give you. 
The other way that you could do it is to add extra, so if you're profitable already, you wanna make more money. Like I said, you can do a half and half strategy. So you could do nights and weekends exclusively, like I said, but you could do a half and half strategy. Basically, Google Ads itself, you can do this with any ad network, really. It's just more of a manual process, but like through Google Ads, um, actually with Facebook, actually with Bing, you could have an ad that has the nights and weekends language on it, like I told you before what the, the, the strategy is. We're available nights, give me a call, or whatever, or live chat 24 seven online now, even at night, even on weekends, whatever. They get to your landing page, it says that. You can have the ad in the landing page, which that ad points to, turn on at 5 p.m. every day, and at 9 a.m. the next morning every day, your regular ad that does not say anything about nights and weekends on it, like I recommended you absolutely do as a part of this to get it to work, to where you're really getting a two to three incre X increase in profitability on the nights and weekends, it just shows like regular. And so if you're saying, Corey, this is too, way too much work, so I'm not doing this. You set this up, you can totally automate it. So once it's set up, it just runs automatically and you have your, you've submitted in your two to three X increase in profit, you have to do anything. You just set up the one ad, which points to one version of the landing page with slight revisions on it to run certain times of the day. And then the other one is programmed to run other times of the day. It absolutely can do this and it can all be coded in. You could search online exactly how to do that, but it's not difficult at all. You don't need to pro know how to do programming or anything. Um, so if you're making money already, that's a way to make more. If you aren't making enough, try weekends and nights exclusively as a way to get over the threshold where it will start making money after all your expenses. So I talked about this already. On the flip side, if I can't take a call nights and weekends and all my ad competitors mostly will already and I know that because frankly, if I'm in the space, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna call people at night and I'm gonna see are they answering the phone if mostly people are, and I can't yet because maybe I just have a logistical, I can't afford to hire somebody to, you know, like they, I have, the other person has call centers, I don't yet, whatever, just as one example. I won't run the ads nights and weekends. So respectively on the flip side here, it may not be profitable to do nights and weekends because you can't compete with somebody that can provide on the spot customer service 24 hours a day. And so, whether or not their ad says 24 seven service, it still not, may not be able to compete. It's all about who can monetize the traffic the most, like I said before. And if they're providing a way to contact them instantly and you can't, and you're expecting them to come back the next day, like I said, and remember that they need to contact you versus the person that can contact them right, right away, therefore 50% that would have normally forgot aren't they're, 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 that opportunity, yeah, that, uh, situation is elimin eliminated as an option for that, or basically the half of the waste of what you paid to, for the person that would have contacted you later forgets is not a part of the equation anymore. That's enough of inefficiency in your system for what the price of the clicks are in your market for that keyword that you may not just do it at all. So you have to, I recommend doing an audit and just see, even if you're an e-commerce site, if you go to their site at 8 p.m. do you call and respectively it's not a matter of you, you, to be very clear here it's not about them calling them first and then buying from them first that's not what we're talking about here it's about who can statistically derive the most profit per dollar spent in that market for because the person who over over time the person who derives more revenue per dollar ad dollar is gonna be the person that naturally just rises to the top to where if they're driving $2 for every dollar you drive, eventually they're gonna be, they're gonna, <clears throat> first of all, it's probably not even profitable, you know, short term, but respectively, even if you make a little bit, they're gonna have so much, such a, so much of an advantage over you in terms of them having extra money to refine um, other aspects of what they're doing that eventually it's gonna shake out to where You've, you're gonna get cut out most of the time. So just don't fight an uphill battle. Your goal though, in that case, instead of fighting the uphill battle, is figure out how you can call, you can talk to people at night. And as a side note, if you guys are running e-commerce still and you're not taking 
doing a live phone customer service, you're losing half of your money. Competing against somebody who will talk to a customer that has, and not just set it into a, to a, a nerd who, or somebody who doesn't give a crap, who's thinking about getting drunk on the weekends, uh, or that weekend, and what their boyfriend is doing, and they have no industry knowledge, versus somebody who has that industry knowledge and will take a call, and maybe not even 24 seven, it's the same thing. They have such an advantage of monetizing that dollar, that traffic that's priced at X, Y, Z, which your price, your product pricing is somewhat similar that they'll just eventually have enough money to reinvest in their model to make it more and more efficient. You're eventually gonna lose. That's just the way that it is. Sorry, um, people expect, it. otherwise, why, if, they, if you're not gonna provide any customer service, why don't they just go to Amazon? I mean, frankly, your business, you gotta have some value add. Your value add is the extra customer service that, an, that Amazon doesn't provide. Kind of mentioned that in other videos, but respectively, take, we're just taking this to the next level. Maybe the competition does that, you can have an edge providing 24 seven customer service to where you get the, the type of edge you're gonna have providing customer service at all, phone service at all versus somebody who doesn't, to provide it 24 seven versus somebody who only provides it, you know, nine hours a day. There's a just as wide of a gap there, if you will. So matter of way, way, way more than you think, like I said, probably half the sales are gonna be gone by not providing any phone service. And you can double them again, being the one person, if there's three or four people providing phone service, being the only one who does after seven o'clock, now you've got a huge edge again during those specific hours. So, if I can't take a call nights and weekends, I'll usually end up bidding way, way less if I'm selling to another business to where I'll automatically start out bidding negative 50% what I would normally bid during the week for business to business cu customers and sales. I mentioned right off the bat that probably just avoid it completely starting out, but respectively, what I can tell you is Oh, very, it's, it's so rare to that weekends will work as good as during the week for anybody selling to businesses that at the very least you should be downgrading your bids by half for the weekends because I just know by working on enough business to business accounts, that's kind of the way that it is. So if you do, it just, just it's just a general rule of thumb you should look at downgrading what you're paying during the weekends if you are paying or and that starts with tracking that goes all the way to a sale whether they call and they don't buy right away, but they buy after calling and then they, you know, call back and they you send them an invoice and they all that's trackable through offline conversion tracking. You need a, you just need a call rail account. We fill out a contact form, and then you call them and you can still track it. There's some just some simple code that Google provides for your contact form so that when they initially fill out that form all the metadata about where they came from and what they typed in and all that is captured to the point where when they do buy, you can feed a, a special tag into Google so it knows, oh, all these details about this XYZ user over here that we have anyway, you told us basically who it, that that person bought, so now it will show right inside your account. They searched for XYZ, they searched this time of day, they were male, they were 45 years old. They were on a desktop device, uh, that, you know, on and on and on to, to the point where you could, you, if you can do that, by the way, it gives you a, a huge advantage over your competition as is. But for a business to business, one of the biggest improvements you're gonna make if you're not doing any of this tracking now is to be able to track and be able to know what nights and weekends are versus during regular business hours. Regular business hours, by the way, if you're wondering for an ideal time before I wrap this up, I usually do 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. if you're a nationwide business to business company. Why? Because the time zones vary. And so you can't do nine to five like you would, but that's about the most best patch up job to kind of hit all the regular business times that I can. If you wanted to be a little bit more precise, you could do a campaign for each time zone and do nine to five only if you're really dealing with top echelon clients, you know if they're not like a huge company, it's like totally freaking worthless, I would look into doing that as a way to shore up some of your wasted money. So just wanted to throw that in there. But respectively, I covered it pretty much everything I can tell you about nights and weekends. 
regardless of what you're selling and how to pick up two to three times extra money from the same exact ad budget on nights and weekends if you want it and therefore what you should stay away from if you're doing business to business sales like I said where it can be a big killer hope you enjoyed the video I have a lot of other PPC money making strategy videos on this channel just like this if you haven't seen any of the other ones before you should definitely check them out I have a blog at guaranteeppc.com slash blog with step-by-step -step instructions on how to build campaigns the way that I personally build them and the, which I wrote and show you how to build campaigns in which I guarantee results for our clients if you like information along those uh, lines. If you have any questions about nights and weekends, anything like that, anything you think I should have covered and did it, leave me a comment down below. I get back to everybody who leaves a comment on this channel within a day or two. Apart from that, I hope you enjoyed the video like I said and I'll see you on the next one.